All right, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the temperature probes on the uh, S SV480 field piece. So I've got uh, two pipe clamps here, and I've got an outdoor, just a standard K-type thermal couple. And um, it's a pretty quick process, pretty simple. I've got a thing of ice here, ice water, just a, a regular five-gallon cooler just full of ice what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is literally just submerge these probes in the ice water and let them sit for a few minutes but first we're gonna go ahead and power up the yes man's okay let's go ahead and put our backlight on so we can start making a difference here that's good and now what you want to do go to menu all right oh yeah there it was calibrate temp Hit enter. And now we can see these are existing temperatures. So you can see, I've calibrated them already. I'm just showing you how to do it here. But, um, yeah, they're pretty well and pretty lock, rock solid. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. And literally all you want to do is going to take my probes here, just submerge them in the ice water. And take this outdoor probe as well. And you should get 32 degrees. We don't want them to be up to the center. We don't, we don't want them to be up to the sides. And this is pretty well insulated, so it should be fine on the side wall like that. Let me go ahead and get this thing clamped. Do that, so that way it holds it down in there. Alrighty. So that's just in there now. So it'll take a few minutes. We're already at 35 degrees. So I'm just gonna let that sit till it can get down to 32. It might take a little while. You probably want to let them sit in here for about 20 minutes. And if they don't get to 32, you, you're just going to um, use these arrow keys. So the up and down arrow. You hit enter. See if you hit enter, it's selecting that. Hit enter again, goes to the next one. Hit enter again, it goes to the third one. And you use the up and down arrows to um, program it. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and just wait before I start, before I start trying to re um, calibrate. I'm gonna wait about 15, 20 minutes. Matter of fact, I need to stir this ice water up too because it's just been sitting in there. Shake up the water as well. Yeah, not very much. Probably need to add more ice to it. The ice is really only at the top. Also, just a little word of advice. It works a lot quicker a lot better when you keep the lid on your cooler. I had the lid off just for demonstra demonstration purposes, but um, it definitely works a lot better with the lid on.
Now you just want to stir the ice up, stir the ice and the ice water up. All right, so it's looking pretty good thus far. So you got suction liquid line 32.8, 32.9, and the outdoor 33.1. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now. Um, so like I showed you, to select outdoor. Just go down. And you want to wait for them to be blinking. So see how it's blinking now? Now I can select, go down. Okay. And it's only been about five minutes. Um, this is going to come down, you know, that rests that little um, nine tenths of a degree here shortly. But um, that's just a quick video on how to calibrate these temperature probes um, quickly. And like I said, it doesn't need to be very, it doesn't need to be done very often, but you definitely want to at least check it. I'd say like once every six months or something. Um, just, you know, if you've already got your cooler on, you may as well just dunk your, I know I keep a cooler on me in the summer, so if you got a cooler on you, just dunk your probes in there and um, see what they look like. But yeah, it's just a quick video. Uh, like I said, if you have any comments or any different ideas on how how you do yours let me know in the comments below uh otherwise thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one all right bye